look here today we will start with uh, uh, handle stage fright how to handle stage fright so there are basic points to uh, that should be kept in mind to uh, handle stage fright how to overcome stage fright uh, while uh, presenting a particular topic to the audience so the uh, everyone who has faced an audience and has made a speech or presentation must have experienced stage fright so everyone who has uh, faced audience or ever uh, stand uh, on the podium um, to deliver a speech uh, must have experienced stage uh, stage fright perhaps one of the most difficult things that need to be handled during a presentation is one's first encounter with stage fright so the most important things uh, uh, that one need to encounter uh, while delivering a speech is to overcome or to encounter stage fright so we become nervous or anxious and suffer from stage fright so one become nervous and anxious and suffer from stage fright however it is important to learn uh, important uh, to learn stage fright important to learn to handle stage fright and use the extra energy positively to improve presentations so everyone has to learn how to handle stage fright as well as uh, use the extra energy positively to improve the presentations so everyone jo bhi who has faced audience jo bhi koi audience ko face kiya podium mein khada ho ke aur koi speech deliver kiya hai ये एक्सपीरियंस हुआ है उसका स्टेज फ्राइट का स्टेज फ्राइट स्टेज फ्राइट का एक्सपीरियंस हुआ है वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स सो वन इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट नीड टू बी हैंडल ड्यूरिंग अ प्रेजेंटेशन इज वंस इज वंस फर्स्ट एनकाउंटर विद स्टेज फ्राइट सो इसका मतलब है कोई भी मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट एक सबसे बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स जो सबको प्रेजेंटेशन देने का टाइम हैंडल करना होता है वो है एनकाउंटर स्टेज फाइट सो हम लोग नर्वस हो जाते हैं और एंजस हो जाते हैं एंड स्टेज फाइट में सफर स्पेस स्टेज फाइट्स में सफर करते हैं तो ये सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज़ है टू हैंडल स्टेज फाइट स्टेज फाइट को हैंडल करना सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग है एंड एक्स्ट्रा एनर्जी को पॉजिटिवली यूज करना होगा टू इम्प्रूव स्टेज टू इम्प्रूव और प्रेजेंटेशन को सो लुक है नाउ द फ्लोइंग स्ट्रेटजीज कैन बी यूज टू कंट्रोल एंड रिड्यूस स्टेज फ्राइट द फ्लोइंग स्ट्रेटजीज जो नीचे स्ट्रेटजीज है उसे कैन बी यूज टू कंट्रोल एंड रिड्यूस स्टेज फ्राइट क्या क्या है वो सब नंबर वन कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन थ्री पी एस थ्री पी एस मतलब planning presentations and practice so you have to concentrate on planning preparation and practice on the topic on which you are going to deliver a speech before the audience so the presentation should be well planned so you have to plan plan your presentations before going to the podium knowing the purpose audience and occasions helps to reduce speech anxiety so already while you have uh, planned your Uh, speech you have already known your purpose you have already known your purpose audience and occasions that will help you to reduce the anxiety effective preparations reduce stage fright so effective in other things preparations effective preparation so you have to rehearse you have to practice so effective preparations reduce stage fright finally practice makes one perfect if presentation is well rehearsed so if the practice if you practice make one perfect if people in presentation is well rehearsed so you have to practice before going to the podium so uh, effective preparations is reduce stage fright so if you prepare your presentations effectively means a good introductions and good body and a good conclusions then there will not be any प्रॉब्लम टू डिलीवर द स्पीच टू टू द बिफोर द ऑडियंस सो क्या क्या प्रेजेंटेशन शुड भी ऑयल प्लान जो प्रेजेंटेशन है उसको ऑयल प्लान करना होगा 
पर्पस और क्या है तुम्हारा ऑडियंस एंड ओकेजन्स ये सब अगर तुम जान लिया प्लेन के द्वारा जाना जाता है ऐसा जान लिया तो हेल्प होगा तुम्हारा रिड्यूस स्पीच तो एंगजाइटी जो है वो रिड्यूस करने में प्रिपरेशन जो है इफेक्टिव प्रिपरेशन से रिड्यूस स्टेज प्रायरिटी इफेक्टिव प्रिपरेशन मतलब एक अच्छा सा बॉडी इंट्रोडक्शन बॉडी इंट्रोडक्शन बॉडी एंड कॉन्क्लूडिंग ठीक ठाक रहे तो ये भी स्टेज फ्राइट को दूर करने में बहुत मदद मिलेगा और फाइनली प्रैक्टिस करना होगा रिहर्स करना होगा उससे प्रेजेंटेशन करने से पहले टू नंबर नंबर टू सेट रियलिस्टिक गोल्स सेट ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट आर रियलिस्टिक इफ द गोल्स आर अनरियलिस्टिक एंड बियॉन्ड वंस कैपाबिलिटीज इट विल अननेसरिली क्रिएट नर्वसनेस इनफैक्ट द नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ऑफ द स्पीकिंग सिचुएशन इज हाइट एंड बाई अनरियलिस्टिक एम्बिशन सो हेयर यू हैव टू सेट ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड योर ऑब्जेक्टिव शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन रियल रियल सिचुएशन सो इफ योर गोल्स इज आर रियलिस्टिक दैट ऑडियंस विल नॉट बी एबल टू अचीव द गोल दैट यू वॉन्ट टू मेक दैम अचीव द गोल इट विल बी अननेसेसरी और इट और योर स्पीच विल फेल टू अचीव दैट गोल और एंड क्रिएट ए नर्वसनेस so in fact normal stress speaking situation heightened by unrealistic ambition so you should avoid that unrealistic ambitions so you should uh, unrealistic ambitions so here set objective that are realistic in fact goals are unrealistic and beyond one's capabilities it will unnecessarily create nervousness so you have to select a goal uh, according to your objective or goals or you have to select you have to organize your speech according to the goals according to the realistic goals to overcome the unrealistic to overcome the uh, you may say the uh, stage fright so your objective jo hai use realistic hona hoga ki unrealistic ek objective hoga jo tum speaker ko jo tum audience ko dena chahte ho aur karana chahte ho वो अगर अनरियलिस्टिक होगा ऑडियंस नहीं कर पाएगा तो नर्वसनेस क्रिएट होगा इसमें तुम्हारा डिलीवर करने का वक्त में सो नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस स्पीकिंग सिचुएशन से छाइट जो नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस स्पीकिंग सिचुएशन में जो स्ट्रेस क्रिएट होता है ये अनरियलिस्टिक एम्बिशन के कारण ही होता है नाउ एवॉइड नेगेटिव थाट्स सो ना द एनदर इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट इज द एवॉयड नेगेटिव थाट एवॉयड नेगेटिव थाट सच एज आई कैन नॉट स्पीक माई टॉपिक इज बोरिंग आई एम not ready and so on so this is these are the negative thought so avoid this negative thought so never speak this kind of sentences before the audience because it will create a uh, anxiety or make heightened to the audience as well as the on the part of the on the part of the uh, speaker instead positive self talk such as yeah, this topic is very interesting i really know this topic and believe in what i am saying so this is the positive topic the negative thought jo hai use hatana hoga in avoid negative thought negative ko hatana ka kaise i cannot speak my topic is boring i am not ready and so on ye sab nahi bolna hoga kabhi instead kya bolna hoga positive thoughts positive self talk jaise kya this topic is very interesting ye topic jo tum bol rahe ho interesting i really know this topic and believe in what i am saying ye sab tum bolna hoga taki इंटरेस्ट ले ऑडियंस और ओवरकम तुम्हें भी ओवरकम मिलेगा उसमें और टू क्रिएट अ फ्रेंडली एटमोसफियर करने में भी हेल्प मिलेगा सो दिस इज द थर्ड वन नाउ लुक एट द फोर्थ वन दैट इज द बिगिन द प्रेजेंटेशन विद पॉज सो बिगिन द प्रेजेंटेशन इज ए बिगिनिंग प्रेजेंटेशन इज ए कॉम्पोनेट बाय फीलिंग ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट एंड नर्वसनेस सो the beginning of the presentations uh, is accompanied by the feeling of nervousness as well as the excitement this can be controlled by taking a few moments to make one self comfortable so you uh, beginning presentation accompanied by feeling excitement this control so you have to control your anxiety or nervousness by taking a rest by taking a few second rest to overcome your nervousness so pause is very much important uh, to overcome the stage fright uh, so when you feel frightened you should uh, you should take some time not very much but 
10 seconds, 20 seconds sometimes to overcome your anxiety. So, it is very, very good. important beginning presentations. ये का excitement and nervousness के साथ होता है beginning में beginning में बहुत दिक्कत होता है problem so this can be controlled by taking few moments एक control होता है कुछ time अपने आपको time लेने से control किया जा सकता है खड़ा होकर कुछ time लिया जाए तो बीच में कभी problem होगा तब भी थोड़ा बहुत use करना होगा fillers use करना होगा तो ये control सकता है so the fillers that you know uh, I am going to say uh, this can be this kind of filler you can use and you can uh, now uh, as you know now the sixth one speak slowly uh, speaking quickly should be avoided and speaking too quickly exposes one's nervousness so you have to avoid quick speaking you have to speak slowly that if the audience will recognize this and they will find it difficult to understand if you speak quickly audience automatically recognize it and will unable to understand your point therefore it is important to speak slowly and take appropriate pause so it is important to speak slowly so that audience can understand what you are saying as well as you have to take appropriate pause so that audience can understand your speech so speak slowly speaking agar speed mein hoga to nervousness nikal aayega is audience ne samajh jayega ke nervousness hai aur as well as audience samajh nahi payega ye kya aap tum bol rahe ho understand nahi kar pa rahe ho isliye important hai slowly bolne ka bolna hoga aur appropriate pause lena hoga jahan pe zaruri hoga and now the last one is the learn and practice stress reduction technique you have to practice as well as run learn the stress reduction technique learn effective stress reduction technique such as kya deep breathing mental relaxation and so on these are the uh, these are the stress reduction technique key the key in dealing with stress fear is to maximize one performance by coping with the obstacles that prevent positive performance so the key the most important things to overcome stress fear is to find out the point or to find out the sentence point on the point that become uh, the hindrance uh, that uh, or, uh, or you may say the prevent you to achieve your goal so you have to find out that words or uh, copying or copy that words and practice that more so that overcome so learn to learn the techniques, reduce the technique, deep breathing a technique, mental relaxation is the first stage of the stage. All these are all. Key dealing with stage fear is maximize the big performance by coping with obstacles. You will copy your own copy, which you have written in the stage of the stage. You will know which point, which point, which information is difficult to you will copy your own copy and practice so that you will get positive performance. Thank you.